Okay, I'm in Nidlingen today, which is the place where Festool makes all the motors. And they're gonna let me make one of the motors. So I wanna bring you along and show you how they put these things together in a very precise and effective way. Okay, it all starts right here with this blank. This is a laminated stock, which is kind of like a, a layered area right here with this whole plastic set up in the middle. So they'll take this piece right here and put it down onto the conveyor belt, and then it gets sent down here to the right. So here it comes down the conveyor belt making its way to the first part of the station, which is where they then go and place all the terminals. There's that robot looking thing in the back and it grabs the terminals and places them on in very precise locations and to a very precise depth. If it's a little bit too high or a little bit too low, it actually messes everything up. And then it goes down underneath the entire line all the way over to that side, which is where we'll start next. Now it comes up this side of the conveyor belt and it'll come and stack up four and then stack into the winding station over here. So here comes the second one and the third one and the fourth one. And then the ones that were already done will transition out and the ones that need to be done will transition in. And then the winding starts and this machine here quickly gets to work in a bunch of different spots winding copper material and then when it's done it'll wrap the copper material around the last terminal and then a cutting machine will come out and snip the wires the ones that have the copper wires on them will now make their way to the next station and this station here is the welding station so it's going to lift it up and then there's two pins that are heated that will weld the wires to the terminals and you can see those uh, two little pins kind of come together they heat up and they weld the wire to the terminal now the wire is a seven layer wire and there's one layer of it that has a certain temperature sensitivity and this part here will heat it up to that precise temperature so that the wire to the terminal connection is as optimal as possible. And then it goes on to the next station. This is the testing and bonding station. And as I mentioned before, the wire actually has seven coatings on it. So one of the things that's happening in this station is they move it up and they put it under voltage and the heat will then bond all the wires together. And they also test the voltage. They'll run it up to a certain voltage to make sure that there's no failures. And then it will drop down and head to the next station. And then the finished stators will come out here and they're all wound and ready to go. They get put in this little mold right here and they put some grease on one of the terminals, which then goes into a package and gets sent off to a new location where they put the rest of the motor together and where they can go and put on the temperature sensor. Now this part of the assembly line is where they make the rotors. It all starts right here with blank lamination stock. They grab these pieces right here and they put them inside this machine. Then it goes back and it gets magnets placed inside all these little voids right here. So then we take that piece and it goes into this little mold right here and they put in the rotor gear shaft and they have an insulator sleeve. And that insulator sleeve then gets put in, the machine comes down and it presses the sleeve in and then puts the rotor shaft in. And then this is a real cool part. It brings that piece and this little robotic arm grabs it and picks it up, runs it back to the first station right here and then it spins it around and it tests to see what the balance is or where the imbalance is. And after it's spun it, it knows more or less what has to be done and it brings it over to this station. And then there's a, a little milling machine in there that will go and remove a little bit of material in precise spots to make sure that the motor is extremely balanced. Kind of like balancing tires, except instead of adding weights, they're taking stuff off. And then it will grab that one and bring it back to the first station and spin it again to make sure it's in balance. And if it's good, then it'll bring it on to the next station. And if it's not, it'll take it back and do more milling. This one was good. So now it's brought here back to the conveyor belt and makes its way down to the next station. And this is where the worker will grab it, place it inside here. And those magnets up until now weren't magnetized. And now the job of this machine is to magnetize all those magnets. And then these ones are placed in these packages right here which then goes on to a new station for full assembly. 